Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update number 6 to my Panda palette project. If you haven't seen these videos from me before I will have my playlist listed in the description box so you can go and check that out. And there will also be some other things that you can check out in my description box if you want to. But let's just get into this update. So I am panning the Sleek Makeup PPQ Me, Myself and I palette this year. So this, or this year, <laughs> this is the first year I'm panning a palette. So I chose to go with this one because it's a smaller palette and it's the oldest palette in my collection. This is a limited edition palette from 2012. So it's quite old. But I will insert a picture of what it looked like last time. And then I will put up a picture of what it looked like last time compared to this time and we can talk about the progress. So yeah, here is what it looks like on the inside. I have unfortunately not made that much progress this month. I had a lot of eyeshadows in my makeup collection roulette uh, updates and then I also had the Throw and Shade product so this was kind of on the back burner a bit. And then I was gonna use it like the past week because I was traveling and I was supposed to bring this. And then I accidentally brought another sleek palette because they are so similar on the outside. They all look like this, like plastic, black plastic. So I accidentally brought another palette. So that was a bummer. So I don't have much progress on this palette, unfortunately at all. When I compare the weight, it weighs 0 0.1 grams less this month than it did last month so a little bit of progress and then if we go through the pictures you can see I have still not used up the white which was my goal has been my goal for like two months uh, but there's just a tiny bit left so hopefully before next update that will be done I haven't used this one at all I did use this one but you can't see any progress in photos I believe if you look super closely, you can see a tiny bit of progress on this green one, which was my goal. You can also see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of progress on this red one. I only used it once, uh, so you can barely tell. But the pan has grown a tiny bit, so that was my goal, which was kind of accomplished, but not really, just because I only used it once. And then this, I don't think you can see like progress in the photos. I have used it but I couldn't tell a difference at least. And then the purple my goal was to clear out like this part right here which I did not do uh, unfortunately but it's really like thin to the edges so you can see a little bit of progress uh, but yeah it's kind of hard to tell. And then I did not use these at all I think since last time. So yeah, progress has not been fantastic this month, This month, but I'm gonna do something kind of radical in, at the end of this video. So yeah, let's talk about that after we're done with this palette. So as I said, it lost 0.1 grams of product and I did not hit my goals. <laughs> So let's go through the goals that I want to have for next month. I definitely want to finish up this white. Like this month I'm going to finish up the white. And then I would like to clear up more of this purple right here. And then yeah, let's just keep this. I think like eventually when I'm done with the blush I have in my uh, whole collection product temp pan. I want to take these two out of this palette and then I want to mix them. Maybe with a tiny bit of a white shade and then I want to use that as a blush. Uh, because I don't really like this one. I enjoy it but it's not like my favorite color. And then this one has a bit of like shine to it. So it's not my favorite for like blending out the crease and stuff. I already use other colors so I'm gonna take these out and sort of franken blush them I think. So my goals, sorry. <laughs> so my goals will be to uh, use up the white right here and then expand the pan on this purple and then yeah we'll see. I think I will keep to those two goals and then we will keep it at that for now. And then the looks I made with this palette, I only made a few looks. I did a look that was really similar to the one that I wore in my last update where I put an orange from my Armed and Gorgeous palette in my crease and then I put this on my outer corner and then a lilac shade on my lid. And then I also did one look, oh yeah, I did this look uh, which I wore in a video recently where I put, like I had other colors all over my lid 
uh, or all over my eye but then I had this kind of in the center of my lid as like a halo eye uh, which I really enjoyed I think that was pretty and then the last look you will also act you will also you will actually see in a video like after I post this but I have I wore it like earlier today so I did it before this update so I'm gonna mention it in this update but for that one I used this shade right here to blend out my crease and then I used uh, this dark green actually all over my lid and I was pretty happy with how that came out I also used a black in my outer corner and of course I used this white one on my inner corner in my brow bone and then of course I'm wearing this look today where I'm also using this to kind of blend out my crease here on the outer corner and then I am wearing this shade all on like the inner half of my crease and then I blended that out with a mix of these two and then I have like another shade on the out outside of my eye um, and of course I'm wearing this lilac uh, on the cut crease or half cut crease but yeah those were the looks that I have made with this palette this time and all of the progress and now we're gonna jump into uh, like a more exciting part so I pulled the Viseart Dark Matte Palette in my makeup collection Roulette and when I was using it kind of in conjunction with other palettes and also with my Panda palette I realized that it's a palette that I enjoy but I don't reach for it because um, it's broken <laughs> so what I realized when doing that project was that hmm, maybe I should actually put that in my Panda palette I would like to make it my Panda palette for 2020 but because there's so much product in there I thought I might put it in now in this project and then I will use it uh, in conjunction with my sleek PPQ palette and uh, all through 2019 and then maybe I will continue what is left in here maybe I will consider it just too old to use and just get rid of it but then I would continue using this VCR all of 2020 and then I would like as my Panda palette and then I would get rid of everything that is left in here like at the end of 2020 maybe um, but yeah here it is <laughs> so uh, this as I said is the VCR dark matte and you can see there are already three uh, pans in here that are empty because I dropped it uh, outside on like a stone um, stair uh, staircase so they broke which <laughs> was a bit unfortunate I think that's why I don't reach for it because I don't like how they are like empty and then also this shade and this shade and this shade like these three are a bit banged up so they are missing like chunks of them and so it's just not a pretty palette and all of these shades I can basically find in my Natasha Denona Safari palette which is also why I don't reach for this one so I would like to make some progress on this one and then eventually like move it out of my collection and the slots that are missing where it's like a burgundy I think and then like a grey and uh, like a green I think this was a green a grey and then a burgundy and luckily like this green was my least favorite shade in the palette and then also the grey I did not use the grey much but I did reach for this one a lot so I'm a bit like bummed that it fell out but yeah here is gonna be my starting point for this palette for this project and then you will be seeing this a lot <laughs> like, for a long time and I think this will actually go really well in conjunction with this palette because the only like cohesive look I have been able to do with this palette this year is to use like the red the the pink and then this burgundy shade and then use the lilac on the lid or uh, use the red the burgundy and the silver on my lid um, so it's not like a very cohesive palette and it's hard to get like cohesive looks so I think it will benefit a lot from having another palette in this project and for this look I am wearing this blue right here on my outer corner and then for the other look I showed you before I was using this green kind of all over my crease and outer corner and everything so yeah that was it for my update uh, I hope you enjoyed it please give this a thumbs up if you did and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye